for your talk. Okay. Uh, hello, uh, cybersecurity enthusiasts, uh, blue teamers, red teamers, and uh, threat hunters, malware analysts. So today I will consider about some uh, interesting uh, results of my research during the long period, uh, like two years, I think, about how to use uh, cryptography uh, in malware development for ethical hackers, of course. Uh, let me uh, some introduce about me. Uh, I'm mathematician uh, and malware analyst, uh, author of uh, MDMZ book uh, and Malpedia contributor. Uh, today, nowadays, uh, I will consider about results uh, on my research in uh, MSSP Global uh, and uh, MSSP Laboratory and also in Cyber 5V as an uh, adversary simulation specialist. So, <coughs> antivirus evasion tricks, yes. Uh, we are hearing every day about uh, AV solutions uh, bypassing us all uh, interesting uh, in research. Uh, <clears throat> classical tricks are time distortion when you use something like sleep function, uh, function call obfuscation when you use uh, uh, obfuscating function calls, win API calls, uh, and another trick is uh, hashing of uh, win API calling. Uh, of course, string obfuscation, encryption, and uh, every, everywhere encryption when you use uh, some uh, strings like uh, kernel32.dll or maybe ntdll.dll. Um, another trick is uh, payload encryption, and I will consider about uh, today about how to use cryptography algorithms to uh, encrypting payloads. Of course, and syscalls. Uh, traditionally, uh, number theory and cryptography is used uh, for defensive security, yes, for defensive uh, purpose. But nowadays, we know that uh, ransomware, uh, many interesting uh, cases uh, when they use uh, cryptography algorithms for encrypting C2 communications, for encrypting payloads, for uh, encrypting uh, <clears throat> strings and uh, using cryptography for uh, anti-disassembling and anti-sandboxing. Uh, of course, uh, cryptography so um, always used uh, by APT groups nowadays. For example, Conti ransomware, Loki ransomware are used uh, IAS encryption, and um, for example, uh, Babook ransomware use elliptic curve cryptography for uh, encrypting the API loads and uh, hiding uh, Win API calls. Uh, another case is using uh, Murmur hash for uh, hiding uh, strings in also in country ransomware, as I know. Uh, first of all, we know that, for example, uh, XOR encryption, uh, uh, which use uh, two different implementations in, uh, in the world, uh, in real life malwares, uh, single and multi byte uh, XOR encryption. And uh, it's uh, uh, easy to re-implement it because uh, when you when we create uh, encrypted XOR encrypted payload, we are using same function for de-XORing this payload and uh, for de-XORing everything like uh, encrypted strings. Uh, so usually used in. Uh, nowadays, uh, by APT groups, by malware developers. Uh, so, as a result, it's easily detected. But another algorithm is RC4. 
Uh, it's also used uh, in combination with another uh, encoding like base64 or sometimes uh, something like more more hash as I said before. Uh, also RC4 is uh, used in Metasploit uh, and easily re-implemented uh, in C. Uh, and also easily re uh, easily uh, reverse engineered uh, by malware analysts, uh, so also easily detected. Uh, what about uh, real life malware? Uh, real life uh, example, something like uh, uh, UID trick, uh, which use it um, with by uh, Lazarus APT group. Uh, when, you, when they use UUID from string uh, function, when API function, which used to decode uh, encrypted encrypted data, encrypted payload, and um, as well as write to memory uh, with this function. And uh, when I create, uh, when I when I re-implemented this and. Uh, uh, used for uh, encryption payload, it's also uh, easily easily detected. So, as a result, um, I just dedicated to uh, use something another something uh, unpopular, yes, unpopular algorithms like, uh, for example, some cryptographic uh, functions from applied cryptography book by Bruce Schneier. Uh, for my research and my scenarios, I use simplest Metasploit payload. Uh, sometimes I use something like just um, pop-upping message box payload. Uh, and, um, and in other cases, I use uh, simple reversal payload. Uh, and um, ask myself, uh, some questions about how does this affect for uh, Shannon entropy of uh, final PFIL sections, and how does this affect a virus total detection score? So, uh, first sample is created without encryption, uh, then we are using um, some of uh, algorithm for encrypting it and try to uh, decrease or increase virus total score. And how, how does this affect uh, in uh, w with proof of concept code? Yes. So first, first try is uh, Z85 encryption algorithm, which used by Zero MQ product, and I use just. Uh, GitHub uh, implementation with Artyomkin. Uh, as a result, as you can see, we have uh, Shannon entropy is uh, a little bit more than six, and uh, wires total score reduced from 16 to 40. Um, not bad, not bad, yes. Um, another unpopular encryption algorithm is Tiny encryption algorithm, one of the classic algorithms, but uh, not use it for malware uh, development. Not use it for uh, uh, not not used for real life malwares, real life ransomwares. Uh, why not? I tried this uh, with case size uh, sixteen and uh, thirty two rounds implementation. As a result, uh, have uh, Shannon entropy is uh, six dot uh, two hundred eighty five, and uh, also good result for reducing virus total score from thirty one to twenty four, uh, and uh, another. In another, in another cases, in real life malwares, um, uh, when you uh, use virus total uh, for checking sample, uh, in local lab we 
can uh, detect uh, in another results, not same as virus total. Because sometimes when you encrypt payload, you have a false positive results from virus total. Uh, another unpopular algorithm is A51 encryption GSM algorithm, which is used for GSM encryption. And um, I also um, will present this uh, research in uh, Mobile World Congress in Barcelona in this year. Uh, this uh, I will try. Uh, Sometimes I uh, used um, more uh, more sophisticated implementations, but in this case I just use uh, a worst scenario when you use uh, a simple implementation. But uh, also not bad uh, results, like uh, virus total score is uh, 21. And interesting moment in my local lab, uh, when I uh, re-implement this with, uh, at, the mo at, the mo at the moment of this research, uh, when I use uh, Kaspersky, uh, last version of Kaspersky antivirus solution, it's bypassed easily for uh, reversal payload when I use this encryption algorithm. Next one is uh, also uh, one of the classical uh, encryption algorithm. It's no, not so popular. It uh, is used for, by Madriga algorithm in 1984. Uh, this algorithm is not used uh, by ransomware also. Mm, but uh, it, as a result, it uh, show good reduce uh, virus total score reducing uh, result from uh, 31 to uh, 17. And also, also one more caveat: this uh, this virus total score is uh, shown when we use combination with base64 and encoding uh, with this algorithm. And of course, why not? Maybe when we use something like this encryption uh, for uh, for encrypting payload. Um, as you can see, in this case, uh, I just create some challenge for me. When, uh, when you use uh, simple implementation in C, it's uh, not so easily detected. But uh, when you using uh, some Win API functions like uh, indicators, like crypt and crypt uh, function, or maybe. Uh, the crypt functions from crypt32 library. Uh, I think that easily detected, but uh, also uh, as a result we have uh, another uh, good uh, re reducing virus total reducing score. Um, I also trying to use this algorithm for encrypting C2 communication with uh, Telegram API and uh, Slack API, and in local laboratory, uh, when I uh, install install Windows Defender, uh, Windows uh, Bit Defender antivirus and Kaspersky solution, it's also bypass these security solutions. And uh, one interesting moment is that uh, when I create a Slack application for re implementing some. Um, uh, key logging logic uh, malware. It's also not. Uh, it's also not detected uh, as malicious. Uh, but when you use this with uh, another C2 server, like uh, custom C2 server, it's easily detected with Windows Defender. Another algorithm is uh, Skipjack algorithm, which used by NSA. Uh, 
I trying different implementations, and uh, last one is uh, optimized by Paolo Barretto implementation uh, with little bit modifications. And uh, as you can see, Shannon entropy is uh, not not so big difference with in, in other algorithms. Uh, and uh, virus total uh, score is also uh, uh, get uh, good good result for this. And uh, why we use uh, in our laboratory? Why I use uh, these algorithms? Another interesting experiment is uh, uh, try to create full undetectable reverse shell with classical implementation with. Uh, win socket uh, functions, win API functions, because usually when you use these functions like VSA, startup, VSA, socket, and WSA, connect functions, is easily uh, easily comprom uh, easily compromised and easily detected with uh, malware analysis tools and uh, uh, reverse engineers, malware analysts. Uh, but uh, interesting case when I use um, a combination of encryption algorithms for um, hiding these uh, functions, hiding these uh, calling uh, win API functions. Sometimes we have interesting results, uh, like full undetectable result, but. Uh, in case we uh, only in case when we use uh, uh, Slack and Telegram API uh, HTTPS C2 communication server, when we use uh, custom C2 server, it's also detected. So it's failed, not so good result. Uh, but uh, fail is also. Uh, you know, fail is also a result, it's also experience. Um, nowadays I'm trying to create uh, another different uh, encryption logic from, not only from Bruce Schneier implementations, not only from classical algorithms. Uh, nowadays I'm working on uh, using something like Kuznetsky algorithm from Russian uh, standard. Uh, another uh, another case uh, is using try to re-implement uh, bubble ransomware implementations of uh, elliptic curve cryptography for encrypting uh, uh, payloads. Uh, as a result, uh, uh, I use uh, used local lab for tests. Uh, just a little bit. Uh, we, uh, Virtual box machines like Kali Linux or in some cases Parrot Security OS, and um, most of cases use Microsoft Defender, Bitdefender, and uh, Kaspersky antivirus solutions. And simple uh, custom implement implementation of Shannon entropy calculation script for uh, PF file uh, headers. Uh, another one, uh, an another interesting result is um, trying to create uh, a Yara rules for uh, every of these uh, implementations and uh, share it in Malpedia and contribute to the Malpedia uh, uh, community. Uh, in, and sometimes uh, and sometimes and Yara rules also show a false positive result for uh, these encryption algorithms. So I think it will be useful for uh, uh, future uh, threat hunters, future malware analysts to uh, uh, trying to uh, detect uh, these uh, implementations when because uh, nowadays we haven't. Uh, um, ransomwares or malwares in the world which used these uh, unpopular algorithms but uh, when you uh, when you meet in the future maybe this uh, my, my research, res research result is useful for you uh, 
so conclusion cryptography also can still be used for antivirus solution by bypassing and uh, also still be used for C2 communication encryption uh, logic but uh, uh, there are, but uh, there is a caveat about uh, that we uh, everything is worked uh, not only it's just one algorithm is using uh, it's worked only if we combine it uh, with different encryption algorithms and uh, encoding something like uh, base 64 and maybe double base 64 or triple base 64 but um, don't forget about entropy when you use more uh, more than two or three <clears throat> cycles of encryption uh, entropies will increase and of course using syscalls and sometimes is very helpful for uh, evasion uh, evasion security solutions so thanks thank you everyone and uh, every uh, these cases are you can find from my uh, uh, github and uh, proof of concept of every of these examples and uh, uh, also you can contribute them these projects thank you very much